How long has it been? A long time. I didn't think I'd see you again. You heard the news? What did the doctors say? They don't really know. Could be six weeks, a couple months. Best case they said, it'd see another birthday. I'm sorry to hear that. You know the story of Oedipus? Killed his father, married his mother? Yeah, that's the one. But do you know where Oedipus killed his father? Sophocles could have put that scene anywhere, but he set it at a crossroads. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. About Oedipus? No. no the idea that you can choose to go one of two ways and Whatever decision you make leads to another set of decisions. And sometimes you're at a crossroads and never even know it. Well, wasn't it Oedipus' destiny to kill his father and marry his mother? What do you mean? Couldn't have gone any other way. He'd always end up in that moment and always make that choice. So you believe in fate over free will? I believe God has a plan for each of us. Our lives follow a certain path, and no matter what small choices we make, it all leads to the same end. You mean to say you can't stop what's coming, and nothing would change that? So if I'd gone fishing on that Saturday 40 years ago, instead of joy riding with you, I'd still end up here, in your church, sitting in this pew. What brings you all this way, Charlie? Sent this? I wanted to tell you first. Don't do this. I need to make it right. There's no way to do that now. You really believe that? I've made my peace with it. And I've done everything I can to make amends. Not everything. Confession may bring you peace. But it won't change anything for the family. I need to be free of this. Confess to your pastor, then. Don't bring the DA into it and go muddying up the waters on something that's long been forgotten. I haven't forgotten. This is a mistake. Look at the life you've built since that day. The good things you've done, your family. Why destroy that? You think, you think you can look past it, so you go on. You move as far away from it as you can. And the days pass by, the years, a life. But it doesn't go away. The truth is still there underneath it all. And that life you talk about, it's built on a lie. For a while, you fool yourself. Believe it. But it's got no basis in reality. 
the truth is still the truth. It's not just your life you're unraveling. I know. That's why I came. Did you think I'd go along with this? Give you my blessing? I don't understand what you hope to accomplish. Atonement? I wanted you to know. Why now? I made a promise. What promise? To Maggie. I made a promise to Maggie before she passed. What about the promise you made to me? What about the promise we made and kept for the last 40 years? You can't do this. I have to. And whatever you need to do, that's your business. Tell me, Michael, why did you become a reverend? I guess it's like you said, you can't stop what's coming. <laughs>